hey guys welcome back to a new video in this tutorial we are going to learn how to work with different kind of menus for a shopify store or how to change appearance of menu for a shopify store as you can see right now i am logged in on the back end of my shopify store it's a dev store and if we check the preview of the store it looks similar to this the menu is on the sidebar and there are no products right now these are just the items which i have created just for the example and let's say we would like to change this menu to something which looks similar to this so this is something like a list of sub menus under main menu fashion electronics home appliances so a list of items opens once you hover your icon on the sub menu or if you'd like to change the menu item to something which looks similar to aliexpress so there is a vertical drop down beside each main item and then there are many different sub items so in order to change the menu of our shopify store which looks something similar to this what we need to do is first go to the apps then go to shop for apps search for mega menu and it's the first step by globo it is also advertised by the brand just install this app to your store for me this app is already installed so it opened the dashboard of the app for you it will probably ask you to authorize the installation and update the app and also there are some premium plans and there is the free plan free plan has almost all the cool features so you don't need to opt for any premium plan so going back to the dashboard of our mega menu you can see i have created many different items here what i'm gonna do is just to delete all this and start from scratch perfect so this is how our menu looks right now it is not published yet so nothing's on the store right now now going back to our dashboard click on the plus icon you can select all products or all collections or different menu items since i do not have any products right now on my store and the store is in dev i'm just going to start from scratch because even if i select this it won't show any products as sub menu items so i'll just add an item and i'll say this item one and i'll add another item which i'll say item two let's add two more click on add so now you can see four different items are showing on our menu now let's add sub menu for sub menu we have an option vertical drop down now first we are going to make it look similar to aliexpress menu which is a vertical drop down and later we are going to make it look like this flip cart menu which is a list of different sub items so going back to the dashboard let's select vertical drop down again hover your icon on item 2 and add sub menu and select vertical drop down for item 3 add sub menu and select vertical drop down and same for item 4 so now we have four different sub menu items you can see a small arrow beside each menu item and now we'll be adding sub items so for that click on this small arrow and you will see drop down item 1 drop down item 2 drop down item 3 so these are all the list of three different items now if you'd like to add a sub category to these different items then click on add drop down and again add an item let's just say item 11 add one more item and we'll say item 21 and let's add one more item and let's say item 31 let's add it to our menu so now when you click on this small arrow all three sub items are showing next to the drop down items and you can do same for drop down menu item 2 and same for drop down item 3 by adding a drop down menu what we did with item 1 you can do same with item 2 item 3 and item 4 Now let's try to publish this menu and see how our store looks. Just gonna select the theme. Make sure to select the theme which is live. Choose replace type that is automatic and click on publish. So now the menu has been published. Let's refresh our store and see how it looks now. Great. Now you can see the sidebar has been removed and is replaced by our new menu. Guys one thing I forgot to mention is right now it's opening on hover of the mouse icon. 
you see each menu item would be shown when we hover the mouse. But here it is only shown when we click on it. So make sure to publish the menu in order to see the changes and if you'd like to make it clickable you can go to general and from trigger desktop change from hover to click and it will be clickable menu. But I think hover looks much more better. Now let's go back to our global menu dashboard. Back. Now let's say we would like to change the look of this menu to something that looks similar to this. That is a list of different sub items. So in order to do that, you can start again from new menu item. You can add each item and then select the drop down menu sub items. But since we want to change the look of all of this, let's first close this menu and go to edit of menu item 1 that is this small green icon edit item and scroll all the way down to change the sub menu type now let's change from vertical drop down to horizontal drop down click save again do same for menu item 2 we'll change it from vertical drop down to horizontal drop down click save and same for menu item 3 and the last one now let's try publishing this menu. Publish. So our menu is published. Now let's check our store. Just gonna refresh this. So now you can see different menu items and the sub items as a horizontal drop down. One last thing is guys, let's delete first all these items. I'm not gonna publish it. Let's add an item called click add and when you add a sub menu in earlier section of the video we just discussed two menu items which was vertical drop down and horizontal drop down but you have many different options under special menu which looks exactly similar to aliexpress then there are tabs under which you can create nested menus and there are so many customizations like showing an image of the product and then there is a mega menu under which you can create lots of different sub menu items like four link list, two link plus two images and many different things. You can play around with all these menu items based on your preference but for me this drop down works best either vertical or horizontal. So I hope you have found this video helpful. If yes, do give thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more updates. Bye bye, take care.